What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. I'm back with another enshrouded video. Now in this video, I am going to focus on the building system that's in the game. Now, as you may know, I'm not a huge builder. I'm not really good at it in the different games that have building, but I wanted to give a general overview for how the building system works in this game. Everything that you're going to see in this video is from the demo, so it is subject to change by the time it's released. Now, in order to start building, you're going to need a construction hammer, and then you need to craft blocks. There are a lot of different blocks that you can craft, and as you can see from the example, it takes five stone to create 100 blocks. Now, that may sound like it's a lot, but actually, as you get into the system, it really isn't a whole lot. Now, one thing that I wish they'd add right off the bat is the ability to queue up crafting, so not having to spam spacebar to craft each individual one of these items. I actually had that section filmed and I was going to talk more about it, but as I was reviewing it in post-production, I noticed that it creates quite a bit of flash on the screen. And I really didn't want to give anybody the opportunity or the chance to have an epileptic seizure from that screen flashing over and over again as I crafted those components. So let's dive into the UI and how to navigate the different building blocks that you're going to be using. Now, the first thing you need to do is put the construction hammer in your hand and then press tab so that you can enter the building mode. You can see in the bottom there, you need to press the Enya key so that you can bring up more shapes. This is going to allow you to switch between two meter shapes, four meter shapes, the roofs that are available, even the one meter blocks that you're able to place with the game. And this is going to allow you to really fine tune what you're doing in the game. So all the shapes, sizes, and variations for each building block is going to be found under that Enya key. If you avert your attention to the right hand side of the screen, you can see that we have different materials. Right now I'm using the rough stone block, but you can see that I have other materials in there as well. Some of that could be wood based products or it could be a different stone type product. So that screen is going to allow you to change the look of those different building pieces depending on the different kind of blocks that you have available to build with. And to switch between the different styles, all you need to do is hold control and then scroll up and down with your mouse wheel in order to select that different style block. If you look at the middle of the screen, you can see we have 7,183 total blocks. Now that goes down each time I build and you can see each one of those building pieces requires a certain number of blocks. So the pillars that I'm placing right now require three to four blocks in order to place them, but other larger pieces can require a lot more. So when you are crafting 100 blocks with those five stone, it really doesn't end up adding up to a lot of building ability. The last thing that I want to draw your attention to is on the right hand side where it talks about using Q and forward and back on your mouse wheel. That's going to allow you to fine tune where you're actually placing that piece. Additionally, you use R to rotate the pieces. And then lastly, X is going to allow you to turn snapping on and off. Now, if you're enjoying this guide, please whack that like button so that this video can get shared with more people. Additionally, if you found this video helpful, join the other people that have already subscribed to the channel by clicking that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you get notified when I upload another video. Now that I've gone over the basics of the UI, let's talk about the actual building. So it is a voxel building, so you can augment and change the way that you're building with these pieces. Sometimes you can overlap, you can make half walls, you can make taller walls, and with the building system, there is no stability. So there have been points in times where I've actually been able to build in ways that you wouldn't normally think you are capable of building. Places where stability should be an issue, but they actually aren't because the building system isn't looking to see if there's any stability there. Now you're going to place pieces with the left click button. And then if you want to remove a piece, you simply right click with your mouse. 
Now, one of the things that I really wanted to know about the building system was if I was able to create circles. And I was, but they're very difficult to accomplish because you have to use the one meter piece and then place them in a way that creates a circle. This would be painstaking to actually make something very tall that was circular, but it is totally possible to do this in the game. You just have to have a lot of patience with the build system to make a circle. The the game also likes you to be standing in a specific place when you are placing pieces down. So as you can see from this video, I actually have a rock wall sticking through my roof all the way around. That's because I placed my roof while standing on the ground level. If I had gotten up to the level of the roof and actually stood on the roof when I was placing it, I would have been able to place the roof in a way that would have made it so that that wall didn't stick out. Now you're only able to build inside the building box that is supplied by your flame altar. However, you can upgrade your flame altar in order to have a larger area from which you can build inside. And after just a little bit of playing around with it, I really did feel like I got the ebb and flow of the building system in Enshrouded. Don't forget to whack the like button on your way out and let me know in the comment section below if you have this game wishlisted. I'd like to thank all my YouTube members for your continued support. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, there's a button that says join on this page. Click that for details. There's two videos on the screen. Click one of those to watch next and I'll meet you over there.